Hey guys, guess what? It's another creature feature. And today the Reptile Zoo is happy to present to you what has to be one of the prettiest and most precious of the snakes. This is a rainbow boa. Now you guys are probably getting it since we've got her in the sunlight. It's a beautiful day out and we thought what better way to show you a rainbow boa than out in the beautiful sun. And if you catch the light off of these guys just right, it gets broken up into all of its layers, giving them their name. It all breaks into those beautiful rainbow colors and makes them just the most gorgeous, almost surreal snake. And uh, otherwise they do have a natural uh, orange coloration on the top. It gets more of a kind of a middle tone to light brown as you get closer to the belly. And then of course the belly itself is more of a white to cream color. The black rings on top are normal as well, and so are the black spots along the side. And that all gives them uh, quite a beautiful and quite unique patterning, but that rainbow shine is like nothing else. I've seen some other snakes, uh, like the indigo snakes, that get a real beautiful shine off them, but nothing quite like this. So the rainbow boas are found in South America, like Brazil, for example, that's a great place to find them. And while they are able to climb, they're not really as much of, a, of an arboreal snake. They don't spend a lot of time up in the canopy. They're more of a terrestrial snake. They like to be closer to the ground and uh, use the cover to uh, give them places to hide from predators. Cause you know, there are plenty of things that will eat these guys. Uh, like example, the jaguars will eat them, but uh, this they'll spend a lot of time hiding out in the day uh, unless they need to come out for a meal in which case they like to catch things like small rodents and even lizards and maybe even the occasional frog but these guys thankfully are not a venomous snake and for anyone that knows boas well boas don't have any venom glands they have no fangs or at least when i say fangs i don't i mean they don't have those hollowed hypodermic needle like teeth uh, like what you find in rattlesnakes, but these guys do still have teeth. They're just meant more to kind of hook in so that they can wrap themselves around their prey and give it a nice good squeeze. They are a constrictor as you as you would find in any boa with their thick, heavily muscled bodies. Now she's, you know, holding on to me, but she's not like squeezing. She's just giving me a gentle hold because their bodies are used for uh, when they need to travel. If they, for some reason, do need to climb, their bodies are very dexterous and strong, but they know not to squeeze like all the way. So she's actually super gentle, super sweet. And again, just the prettiest thing. And you have the cutest little face too. <laughs> I baby talk my animals. <laughs> Well guys, I don't know if we'll be able to top that, but you can find out on the next episode because who knows what animal we're gonna bring to you next, but who, it could be something cooler, it could be something prettier, or it could just be a personal favorite of yours. Only way you're gonna find out is if you catch us on the next episode of Creature Feature. Take care.